Welcome to Mainline Baits Carp Fishing TV. I'm John Kneebone and today I'm going to talk to you about a new product to join our extensive range of hook baits and that's the quads. Okay, before we get started, because we're so excited about the launch of these hook baits and we know that you love us to do this, we're gonna have a giveaway to give you a set, one of each of all of these quads coming out to one lucky winner. So make sure you watch to the end of the video for details on how you can enter. And I'll give you one little clue, you're gonna have to subscribe. So if you want, get down there now and press that subscription button. Right, let's get on with the video. So before I show you how to tie a simple rig that I think is going to work really well with the quads, let me just tell you a little bit more about them. Now, as the name would suggest, they're a square-like shape in a 10mm size hook bait. And the idea really of having a bait that's that sort of size and shape is that potentially it's more awkward and a bit more difficult for fish to eject when they're mouthing your rig, especially if they're wary fish and they're not moving really quickly around your feeding zone. That hook bait is gonna be a bit more difficult to get rid of and hopefully that gives your hook that little bit more chance of gaining purchase. Now, we've got a pop-up version and a bottom bait version and both the bottom baits and the pop-ups, they come in three different flavors to match your favorite food source boilies. We've got the cell, the essential cell, and the link. Now rig-wise, I think the most obvious way to use these hook baits is actually to combine the two. A bottom bait with a pop-up, a nice bright pop-up quad sat above it to give you a snowman rig just like this. Now, if you'd like to know how to tie this rig, we've already done a video showing you how to tie this long shank snowman rig and I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. But as you can see it's the perfect way to combine both a bottom bait and a nice bright visual topper that's going to slink slowly down above your feeding area. And I think this is going to work perfectly with some really popular ways of fishing boilies like crushing them up, 10 millers like mixed size boilies, bit of pellet because you've just got a couple of little hook baits there just nestled in amongst that feed and they resemble that really, really well. And again, they're gonna work well with other spob mixes like particles, chopped tiger nuts, things like that, things where they've just got that a regular shape, just like the quad hook bait. Of course, with a super versatile hook bait like this, there's many ways to use them. The pop-up ones, to me, they look like they're gonna make a really good zig hook bait, but also a good floater fishing hook bait. Most of the time, I would say I'd like to match the color of my feed to the color of my hook bait, but there's also times when you're missing takes because it's very hard to identify your hook bait. And having a bright one out there, it could be worth a go. White in particular is a good hook bait. I've caught a lot of fish on off the top. But what I'm gonna do now is show you a very basic way to use the pop-up version, one that I think is gonna work really well and fit into my fishing. So let's go to the overhead cam and show you how to put this rig together now. Okay, to tie this rig, I'm gonna use a soft, uncoated braid. We've then got a pop-up version of the quads. I've got a little bit of shrink tube to make a kicker. We've then got a little micro ring swivel so the hook bait can be blown back. And that hook bait is gonna sit upon a size eight wide gape hook got an anti-tangle sleeve to obviously just help prevent tangles and then of course we just need a pair of scissors and a baiting needle for adding our hook bait. Oh and don't forget because we almost did you're also going to need a bait stop and some split shot to counterbalance that pop-up. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pull off a little bit of the braid so that we can make our hair loop. Very simple to do just an overhand loop make a small loop. I like to use my baiting needle with these small types of knots, just makes it easier for me. Bring that loop back through and there we go. Very simple, straightforward overhand loop. Perfect for attaching your hook bait. And what I've done is just tied this of the length that the knot will sit inside the hook bait just to help secure it on the hair. Okay, now we can just trim off that tag end that we don't need we get rid of that and now we can think about attaching our hook bait so I've got a nice bright yellow 
pop-up quad here but what I'm going to do is just to make things maybe that little bit more awkward for the carp is I'm going to attach it diagonally from corner to corner so we stick that baiting needle through like I say corner to corner just makes it that little bit different perhaps to a straightforward round bait it may not make that much difference but then again it may do and it's not worth taking the chance so there we go that's on the hair and now we just need one of those little bait stops put that in the loop tighten it down and that's the hook bait secured into position and we can move on to the next step we can now pull off some braid from the spool dependent on the length of rig that we want to tie. Now I'm going to tie this rig to about 7-8 inches long so it's more of a conventional rig for fishing over your general fishing spots but this rig is also suitable for using within a PVA bag on a much shorter hook length. But like I say I've pulled off probably 12 to 14 inches there so I've got plenty to work with. Now we're going to need our micro ring and a little tip here is if you just lick your finger, push it down on the ring, it will sort of stick to your finger and make it a lot easier for threading onto your hook length. You won't be forever dropping it, losing them, trying to get another one. So we just thread that down the braid until it's very close to the corner of that hook bait and then I'm just going to tie a simple overhand loop to secure that into position just below the hook bait. So there we go, very simple, tighten that down. And now you can see that that ring is just maybe three to four mil away from the bottom of the hook bait. Just give it a little tug just to make sure it is nice and tight. There we go, that's perfect, right. Now we can take our hook, I'm using a size 8 wide gate hook and just simply going to thread that through the ring and then position the ring where it's just going around the bend of the hook, just where the shank just starts to bend, that's the perfect position. Just lick the end of that braid there just to make it easier to thread through the eye and now we can tie a simple knotless knot. So I'm going to come back down the shank of the hook once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. Take that tag end back through the top of the eye. There we go. And that's our hook secured into position on the braid using the knotless knot. To help the hook turn in the fish's mouth, I'm now going to take a small piece of shrink tube, just going to cut off around about an inch, a couple of centimetres of that tubing. And we're going to use that just to help, like I say, turn that hook when it runs across the bottom lip of the carp. Now the length of tubing that you use can also depend on how much of a curve you want to add to the eye of your hook and how high you want to position your hook bait off the lake bed. So we just thread that down onto the hook like so. And now we can think about tidying up the other end of the rig. So I've taken an anti-tangle sleeve, a very important component when it comes to tying rigs, especially when you're using a soft, uncoated braid as we are today. So just going to thread that through the anti-tangle sleeve and now we can tie a knot at the other end ready to attach to a quick change swivel and with lots of previous tutorials I'm going to use a figure of eight loop knot so I've made one loop I then take that loop back upon itself take the first loop and tuck it behind that second loop grab my needle just because it's easier with these fiddly type knots and pull that second loop back through the first and there we go we've got a perfectly tied figure of eight loop knot just gonna add a little bit of saliva so just wet my fingers just moisten that knot just so it beds down nicely and i'm just gonna tuck it down with the needle, I'm not going to pull it tight with the needle, there's nothing worse than snapping off your baiting needle in the middle of a session. 
and then having problems trying to attach further hook baits. So, I've got a pulley tool. I'm just going to give that knot a nice little pull just to make sure it's tightened down. Just pull that tag end down as well. Very strong knot, the figure of eight loop knot. It might seem a bit fiddly, but it's well worth learning. And then we can just remove that tag end, tidy it up, and take our anti-tangle sleeve, just pull that back up over that knot, leaving the loop exposed. So like I say, we can attach this to a quick change swivel. We're nearly there, we just need to steam down our shrink tube, so being careful not to burn yourself or damage the rig, just gonna place that shrink tube in over the steam and just shrink it down to an aggressive angle it's just going to help that hook turn, like I say, as it runs across the bottom lip of the carp. Now we just need to add our split shot. This is a number two shot. It's perfect for these quads. Just going to place that on the hook link, just underneath the shrink tube. Just take some pliers just to squeeze that down. The rig is now complete. And as you can see, as I run the rig across my hand, that shrink tube helps the hook point turn aggressively to prick hold every time. Now I have to point out and recommend that you use this rig with a small PVA mesh bag of pellet like this. A small light hook bait and an uncoated braid is a recipe for disaster when it comes to tangles. So you need to add a little bit of weight and drag to your hook so that it stays away from the terminal tackle as you cast. A little bag like this is perfect. As you can see, this rig is positioning our 10mm pop-up quad perfectly, with the hook set at an aggressive angle ready to be taken, and that square-like shape of the quad giving our presentation a little bit of diversity. So there you go, a really simple rig to present the pop-up quads. As I've said earlier, I've tied this rig to around about 7 to 8 inches long and using this on conventional fishing spots but if I was going to use this inside a solid PVA bag, which again, I think this presentation is really going to lend itself well to, I'd probably maybe even half the length of that, just a four or five inch hook link that would be tied straight to an inline lead. Right, now for the part that you've all been waiting for, how you can enter our giveaway to win yourself a tub of each of all of these quads. Now, all you need to do is just make sure that you're a subscriber to the channel. Yes, I know I keep telling you every video you must subscribe and lots of you have been putting in the comments that you have now subscribed. So thank you very much to everybody that's done that. And we really appreciate all these subscriptions. But if you haven't, please subscribe because we're gonna be doing giveaways all the time. And in this giveaway, like every other, we need you to subscribe. So once you've subscribed, simply go to the comments box below and write hashtag mainline baits and you'll be in with a chance of winning yourself a tub of each of these brand new quads. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the notification button so you know when our next video is coming out. If you don't yet subscribe to the channel, then hit that subscription button below. And if you'd like to watch more current fishing videos, I'll leave links to those here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.